Welcome into Mount Vernon Power Post Game. Yao Bonsu now joined by Charles Thomas right after a 129-84 victory. You dropped 20 points yourself. You looked far and away the best player on the court. What was working for you today? Man, it's just the teamwork. We This year is a big difference from last year, being able to come in and practice. We at least get in one practice a week where there are multiple hours. Coach Marcus did a great job of implementing a system where everyone gets involved. And, you know, my teammates did a great job of just letting me let me get you know get going in the first two quarters and then distributing <laughs> distributing the rest of the game. Well, you did get going. You had four threes in the first quarter, right? And not only were you scoring, but you were very vocal as a leader. So, how much is that going to be a point of emphasis for you this season? 100%. You know, as a point guard, as like a point guard who can shoot a little bit, um, you know, I still got to lead the team. I still got other people touch it. So, being vocal and putting people in the right positions is going to be really important to our success this year. Now, of course, Coach Gomes, you talked about the fact that you guys are going to shift to an international style of play. You guys were dominating so much. We didn't really get to see that it was a bunch of ISO you guys were getting anything you wanted but how much is that gonna adjust as the season goes on um I think it's gonna make it a little easier to score yeah. for the most part um there's a lot more movement on the weak side so you know guys get pinned down screens guys are getting open you know Jay got a lot of good shots this yeah. today you know having Shane back on board and then adding Justin I think the European style of play is really gonna help us you know go above and beyond where where our strengths are at tryouts, we talked about some of the things that you wanted to work on with your game this season. Did you see some of those things come to fruition today? And if so, what do you got to improve going forward? A hundred percent. You know, coming off that that torn uh, tendon in my foot, yeah. it was a big thing to get back in shape and uh, be a little bit more efficient. Definitely free throws, man. I bricked. <laughs> I bricked way too many free throws today. Not normal. I think my, my three point percentage was higher than my free throw percentage. But, you know, definitely definitely more consistent. First game of the year. Um, you know, I feel I feel good. It was a good. It was a good. It was a good game to start. Look, in terms of the entire NBL, you guys came in ranked number two in the entire country. Do you, do you guys think you came into today with a chip on your shoulder, knowing that? Nah, definitely, definitely. You know, going out to Vegas, um, not having our whole squad. Yeah. You know, playing a great game against the defending champs. You know, shout out to shout out to them. But um, you know, we we were half half staffed. You know, um, adding a couple big pieces this year. I think I think that chip on the shoulder was definitely real, and I think it's going to be there for the rest of the season. What's the message you want to send to the rest of the NBL? We're going to be ready. <laughs> we're ready. You know, we know, we know, especially with going undefeated last year, they're going. We're going to have a number on our backs. Like we got a target on our backs, so we definitely going to be ready for that. Charles Thomas, 20 points in a 129-84 victory for the Power over the Bronx Holy Flames. Charles, congratulations on the victory. Appreciate and you. Good luck the rest of the way. All right. Thank you for having me. All right.